take a look, Richie. For your first Christmas, we planted you your very own Christmas tree. And each year, you get taller and taller, just like that tree. Ready when you are, Cadbury. As you wish, Mr. Rich. Merry Christmas. And may every Christmas wish you may come true. You've a very exciting life ahead of you, Richie Rich. So sorry to cut into your playtime, but you do have a busy schedule. Sorry, guys. I gotta go. But you can finish the game without me if you want. That's okay, Richie. It wouldn't be the same without you. Oh, Cadbury, you party pooper. Hey, um, let's go downtown and see Sam. See you, Richie. Bye, Richie. Mm, sorry. All right, bye. Hey, come on, this is yeah. so cool. Let's go. Come on. Hey, I'm gonna get you, Gloria. You don't have no <laughs> yeah. You better go inside. I'm gonna get you. I got you. Yeah. Can't we do this later? 
I'm sorry, Richie. It's the day before Christmas. You have two appearances, three conference calls, and we still have to select gifts for your wonderful parents. We're just getting started. Yes, yes, but you have responsibilities. Important things for an important young man. I understand. For example, we still have to deliver all those presents to Miss Peabody at the orphanage. And we all know how Miss Peabody has a crush on you, Gary. And you need to get ready for a tea with the Van mm -hmm. So where are you going to be there? I know this can be a difficult time, but it is Christmas Eve and you have certain duties. Well, sometimes I wish I didn't have so many things to do. I mean, I hardly have time to play with my friends anymore. Pretty soon they might not even be my friends. What's that? It sounded like it came from Kimin's lab. Kimin? Are you okay? Fine, fine. Never been better. Why do you ask? Oh, incidentally, Richie, how did the super remote work in the snowmobile? Like a charm, I must admit. Yeah, I made my friends disappear. Oh, dear. Well, that shouldn't happen. But I have something for you. This way. Ta-da! <laughs> cool. It's, a. Uh, what is it? I press a button and speak right into the screen. Zillionaire. Cool. So, um, what was the big explosion about? Oh, that's another machine I've been working on for years now. Now, there's still a few little kinks that need to be worked out, but... Can we see it? <sighs> Two minutes. Yes. And I want a bite of it. Follow me. Behold the world's first wishing machines. <laughs> Don't you need washing machine? Oh. <laughs> it's a wishing machine. I made the prototype out of a washing machine because the coefficient of vectors happen to coincide with the rotation ratio. Oh. So how does it work? This is an authentic Pegliosaurus dinosaur wishbone. It's the largest wishbone ever discovered. So it provides optimum vectors to generate the fribulator conductor. What's that? That is the molecular wish receptor. It's the secret behind the whole machine. The MWR collects residual wish energy from all over the world and converts it into pure wish granting power. So anything I wish for will come true? Precisely, precisely, yes, 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 yes. Unfortunately, uh, there is one small catch, and that is the MWR only works one day out of the year. What day is that? Christmas Eve. It's today. Yes, today, when all the little boys and girls all over the world are wishing for presents. It's the only day there's enough leftover wish energy to power the machine. Oh, please, King Bean. Wish energy? There's no such thing. It can't possibly work. Hmm. Yeah, Richie, let me demonstrate. Standing in a pig sty. 
Yes, King. This contraption of yours is in serious need of re-evaluation. I think it's pretty neat. <laughs> now you'll never be ready for tea on time. Very tight shape. We have the minute to lose. Oh, hey, darling. Hey, boy, come here. Oh, boy. Whoa. Whoa. We gotta find out Mama's get one for Christmas. Got any ideas, Hope One? Huh? Your parents' gifts will be delivered from the mall like civilized human beings. Now run upstairs and get properly dressed. The Van Doe's will be here any minute. I'm practically upstairs. Oh, run along. We have to find out what mom and dad want. Let's go find them and spy. <laughs> mom and dad camp. <laughs> Living room. Got it. Richard, dear, it's time to get ready for the Van Doe's. Oh. oh, I am so glad we only have to go through this once a year because I find that whole family just intolerable. Thank you. Would you please put away that fishing rod, dear? We'll have plenty of time to do that on vacation. Maybe we can take one of the yachts to the South Pacific this year. Oh. Richie, is that you? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh, how did you get some money? I wish for pie. Keen bean. Mom, Dad, what do you guys want for Christmas? No, we don't need anything. We already have more than we'll ever need. But uh, what if you guys could wish for anything in the whole world? Well, then I'd wish for you to be out of those dirty clothes, dressed and ready for tea. Mom, don't worry about that. And Keenbean turbocharged my wardrobe work. Speaking of Professor Keenbean, did you see this incredible new fishing rod he invented for me? Look, it's got an automatic caster, an aquatic homing device. Just make sure you don't touch that <laughs> Excuse me, what kind of sandwich is that? Tuna, sir. Tuna fish. See, it works. Cool, let me try it. Yeah, all you have to do is go upstairs and get ready for tea. Sure, Dad. Gee, you're supposed to be at tea now. I know, I know. Everyone keeps reminding me. Oh, oh dear. Excuse me. You want me to fix that valve for you? Would you mind? Thank you, Richie. You're the only one that has the touch. I think the thing's broken. Yeah, see, those labor costs are cutting into my bonuses. Mm -hmm. So when I realized that, I said, it's time to shut that place down. I shut that factory down right away. Yeah. How are things going at Richville Enterprise? Oh, they couldn't be better. We just gave everyone an extra week's vacation. I think that sets a bad precedent. Oh, Regina, darling, I think all this charity work you do is just wonderful. Of course, I simply don't have the time with the oxygen facials and the rose petal massages and not to mention the eyelash rings. Now, do you listen? Regina, I don't... I said I take my tea with cream, not milk, you imbecile! 
begging your pardon, Master Reginald, but I believe it is cream. It's not cream unless I say it's cream. Now give me a proper cup before I get in a really bad mood. Hey, what are you looking at? Don't you people have jobs? Somebody clean up this mess. This is disgusting. Hey, you, bring me an arm. An arm. A footstool. My feet hurt. Oh, oh hey, Reggie. Sorry I was late. Quite all right, Richie, my boy. No excuse necessary for someone of your stature. Hey, here, Reggie. Why don't you try some of my tea? It's highly expensive, but hey, you're worth it. I'm sorry. I forgot to mention. Water! Water! Quickly! Water now! Minute. Richie really bugs me. Sorry! It's time! It's time! It's time! It's time! The TV crew is here! It's time to launch the slave to the orphanage! Yes! How's my hair look? You look great, honey. Come along. You coming? No. Why does Richie Rich always get to be on TV? Oh, because his parents are the richest in the world, dear. I want parents like that. We're very rich, son. Not rich enough. I want to be there, son. Don't be too sure. <laughs> Just be patient, dear. <laughs> Charles, dear, fetch me my wrap. And please don't let him. What's that? Nothing. That's a tattoo, isn't it? Certainly not. I would never defile my body in such a manner. Oh, really? Then what is... that? This is very embarrassing, Master Rich. I must implore you not to mention a word of this to anyone. Have you seen the super remote? I can't seem to find it anywhere. Oh, surprise, surprise. Will the sleigh work without it? Oh, yes, yes, of course. It's, it's just you'll have to drive it manually, that's all. You mean I get to drive? I don't, I don't think that's what he meant. Have you seen the super remote? Hmm, let me see, super remote. Is it about so big? Lots of buttons and knobs? Yes, 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 buttons, buttons and knobs, yes. No, sorry, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh. Don't worry, Sergeant Mooney, I'll keep it under the speed limit. That's okay, Richie, we trust you. Do you really think Richie should be driving? Oh, it's a sleigh. I mean, what can possibly happen? I'll go check our insurance. So, Cadbury, what's up with that tattoo on your leg? If you must know, I was once with a rock band in jolly old England. You had a rock band? We called ourselves Root Canal. You guys had that song, uh, Coffin and Nails. Well, first and only success, I'm afraid. So it must be pretty boring for you hanging out with me after you turn with the Rudies. Believe me, Master Rich, nothing in my life with you is ever boring. Oh, did, 
the, the, the orphanage is just ahead. You might want to slow down. Yeah, I'm trying. Slay has other ideas. Having trouble driving, Richie? <sighs> no! 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 On the bright side, presents can be replaced. You and I cannot. Hurry, let's get back to town. We can cut across the park. Oh! Ah! Oh! Hurry! Hey, what's wrong? I think I twisted the Dickens out of my ankle. Uh, I'll go for help. Why don't you try and salvage Christmas for the rest of those children? I'm on my way. Spoiled the holiday for everyone. Completely ruined Christmas. <laughs> what he did to those poor orphans is unforgivable. Richie Rich should be ashamed of himself. And exactly what did you mean by that? All, all I'm saying is it's very irresponsible uh, to let Richie Rich drive the sleigh. Oh, and look at the poor children. Dear, uh, they are so I've devastated. Oh, and about his poor butler. He left him alone in the snow with a broken ankle. So what oh. happened? My dear, uh, Mr. Cadbury. Oh, well, do elaborate. Well, Mr. Cadbury is like... Yeah, Richie Rich did this on purpose. He, he ran off with their presents just like he ran off with the Salvation Army money. I mean, he's ruined Christmas for everyone. So, Reggie, right. you think Richie Rich really is a bad seed? Tell us more. Oh, 
Hey, Dollar. Oh. Don't tell me you're mad at me, too. Oh, Mom and Dad are more understanding. Mom and Dad can. Our son. The awful. It's terrible. Woo. It's unbelievable. How can people say that about Richie? He, he's the most generous boy in the world. Parents think I rule Christmas. Everyone thinks I ruin Christmas. How would be better without me? I wish I wasn't rich. In fact, I wish Reggie Rich was never born. best qualities. But you live in that house, right? Of course. Come on, I, I thought we were playing tag. You must be one of Reggie's friends. Um, better go along with him. <laughs> oh, then I guess you're it. <laughs> Candy, sir. Unwrapped. Unwrapped, sir. You expect me to put that in my own mouth? In your mouth, sir. Do I hear trespassers on my property? Uh, it's, it's, it's probably just the neighborhood kids, sir. I want them removed immediately. Reggie, they're just playing in the snow. Oh, don't make me haul you into court again. Oh, 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 wait. I feel myself falling into a really bad mood. <laughs> oh. It's a tree. What tree? 
A Christmas tree, the one my parents planted right here for my first Christmas. I still don't see a tree. I thought we were playing tag. He says there's a tree here. Oh, wait a second. On second thought, I think I do see a tree there. What are you talking about? Oh! Oh, yeah, sure, right, right. How could I have missed it? It's so big. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> the tree. Big tree. Guys don't know who I am. Sure we do. You're Reggie's friend who sees invisible trees. I am not Reggie's friend. You're not? No. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> what day is it today? It's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. My wish came true. I'd never been born. <sighs> hey, I think I know who you are. You do? You're it. <laughs> really must be new around here. Everybody knows you don't mess with Reggie Rich. Reggie? What's Reggie got to do with the Rich family? Re Reggie is the Rich family. What do you mean? A while ago, Reggie sued his real parents for neglect. The Riches were his godparents, so the court gave them custody. Then he turned around and sued them. Now he owns the whole town. Factory, bank, museum, newspaper, everything. But he doesn't own us. I mean, we're still free to do whatever we want, right? Oh, yeah, sure. As long as Reggie doesn't find out. I know a safe place we can go. Follow me. There used to be a park here. Be a nice place for a park. It wasn't such a dump. <laughs> we have to put a stop to this. Let's go back to my parents' house and find Professor Keenbee. What could they do about it? Listen, I'm Richie Rich, the richest son. At least I was until I wished myself away. Oh, really? Look, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. There was, there was this professor, and he worked for us, and he, and he invented this wishing machine that would, on Christmas Eve, make any wish that you wished come true, and I wished I was never born. You know, Archie, or whatever your name is, this is all really interesting, but you're on Santa, we've got to go now. You're going to have to find this Professor Bean Curd on your own. It's Keen Bean! Whatever. <sighs> Guys only like because I was rich. I'm not refusing, I just prefer to be alone. Being with you is not my preference, I assure you. It's a man. If you refuse to play golf with me, then I simply refuse to ever set foot on that stupid boat again. Oh, really? You know, you're going to wish you hadn't said that. Never. I'm thrilled I said that. Your mother. I said my who? <laughs> your mother. My mother? My mother's off limits. Okay, fine. Let's talk about your father. You know what? I think maybe we should just take separate vacations this winter. Oh, I would be so happy. That would be so fine with me. Hey, it's fine and dandy with me. Fine! Think about going on several vacations, would you? Mom? Dad? Well, that's right, you guys don't know who I am. Well, of course you do. You just don't know yet. Get out of my way! Yes, sir. Somebody stole one of my presents. I saw the empty box by the front door. If you don't find the culprit tonight, I'm going to fire everybody. Hello? Richard. Yes, sir. I want you to close the factory tonight. For good. Profit margins are pathetic. Well, but <laughs> yeah. Guys, what's coming? Bad mood? Yeah, a really bad mood. I will take care of it, sir. 
Just make sure you wait until midnight. I want everybody to work for shit. Oh. And Regina. But yes, we have to get rid of that stupid charity clinic. Mm-hmm. All those sick people depress me. I will uh, take care of that, Reggie. You're a stupid dog of mine. I need to wipe my hands on something. Mom, you can't close the clinic. We want to take care of all the sick people. Who is this person? And what is he doing in my house? I have no idea. Dad, Dad, you can't really be closing a factory. I mean, you never even let people work on Christmas Eve. Well, it's his decision now. Whoever you are. These are Reggie's decisions. Stop talking to him! Where are those gooses buddy guys of mine when I need them? Move in! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Look, Dad, we have a professor. His name is Professor Green Bean. I don't know any green bean, and I am not your dad. Mom, see, we have a butler named Cadbury. He'll explain everything. There's no Cadbury in my life. Kid Reggie? He seemed to be a very nice boy. Nice? You go breaking and entering nice? Destruction of my personal property nice? <laughs> Kidnapping my personal dog nice? I want you to comb the streets for this kid. I want posters of him up on every street corner. I want him found, locked up, and thrown in jail. And then I want a hot fudge Sunday. I'll get right on it, sir. Feeling. Got anything to eat? No, not on me. 
I think I know someone who does. You just ruined my front door. I'm sorry. I didn't know that my wishing I wasn't Richie Rich would mean that the poor kids in Richville wouldn't have any place to go. Is he, uh, you know, is he all right? I don't know. I just came here to get something to eat. No. No, I'm not all right because it's Christmas Eve and there's poor kids out there begging for food. No one can take care of them as good as you can, Mrs. Peabody. How do you know my name? Look. I'll be back. I'll explain everything when I come back, okay? Uh, I promise. It's fun to learn. Well, all right. Come on. Use four foot eleven. into this world, which is another world opposite my world, where everyone's the same, but everyone's different. No one's happy except for maybe Reggie and the cops are after me. Do your parents know that you're making up these stories? My parents don't even know they're my parents. You know, I think we can help you. Why don't you take a seat? Get away. He won't get far, boss. The 
police are patrolling the street and they're starting a dog-to-dog -dog search. Who is this kid anyway? I mean, where did he come from? Well, he claims to be a Richie Rich and he's no longer wearing a cap. That's all the information we have. Except the dogs seem to really like him. Well, I don't like him. And I especially don't like the way he keeps getting away. I need butterscotch! <laughs> Professor Kane means, but if we don't find him before midnight, we're stuck here. No food, no family, no friends. Not nothing. That's not the Christmas spirit. Use it as a blanket. It'll keep you warm tonight. Uh, yeah, do you guys by any chance have a roadie named Cadbury? Yeah, yeah, Cadbury, I think he just stepped over to the loo. Oh, it's great, uh, would you mind if I waited for him? I'm kind of a friend of his. Any friend of Cadbury's is a friend of ours? Yeah, step on up, mate. Come on, Dollar. <laughs> oh, hey, we're just about to take a break. Do you fancy a bite to eat? Uh, <gasps> yeah, sure, great, thanks. Right, come on. Boys, high tea, high tea. So, do you guys still play coffin of nails? <laughs> coffin of nails. Coffin of nails. No, I don't think I know that one, kid. Oh, come on, sure you do. Come on, coffin of nails. Coffin of nails. No wind in my sails. Nail sails. No wind. In, oh yeah. Yeah. Coffin, coffin of, of nails. nails. Yeah. No oh, wind in my sail. Hey, you guys yeah. got it. Come on. Yeah, coughing and nails. Hey, here comes Cadbury. Yeah, coughing and nails. I'm shaking my hand to this. No wind in my sail. Yeah. Hey, Cadbury. This Cadbury. Hey, catch you, dude. Yeah. 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 I just got it from your friend there. Yeah. Right. Come on, let's walk on it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we've had the pleasure. Actually, we have. Um, Rich Rich. <laughs> Sorry, don't recall. Uh, it's kind of a long story, see? You don't know me, but I know you. I'll explain everything later. So right now, I need your help. You're the only one I could turn to. Look, if it's, if it's concert tickets you're after, I can't do a thing for you. We sold out weeks ago. It's not about concert tickets. It's about uh, that tattoo on your leg. We better talk about this in private. All units report to the Reggieville Theater. Any backup, the sergeant is on scene. You will need a child to be inside. All units report. It's the last building on the block. He has to be in here. I want this place completely surrounded. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. I'm sorry, but you got to admit your story sounds, uh, like a pile of rubbish. How else would I know about the tattoo on your leg? Well, I admit that's a bit strange, but 
A wishing machine? Really, Richie? I mean, you have to devise the laws of science. Yeah, that's what you said the last time. Backflip, spread out! Hey! You hit me! Get down! Hey, I want to talk to you! Grab my hand. Get the glue. Of course, there it is. Let's do it. Oh. Hi. We're the Verva twins. I'm Richie. Hi. We sing back up. Really? I have a feeling I'm going to be needing some backup. I mean, he looks a little like the bloke that came in looking for our valet. Said they were chums. Stone. If your valet is a friend of this criminal, I want to take him in for questioning, too. And get that muffin out of my face! Scone? It's a scone. Is that your valet? Run, Cap! Stop him, boys! What is the meaning of this? Slim! Shorty! Find that kid! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> How you doing, ladies? Oh, listen, Axel, I'm looking for a kid. He's about this big, looks kind of like you, without the wig and the glasses. You seen him? Yeah, I believe he went that way also, bloke. Great. My name's Slim. I'm in the wrong business. Thanks. Thanks, ladies. Any time, Richie. Hey, call us when you're old enough to stay out past 9 o'clock, okay? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I got orders. Nobody in, nobody out. But if you don't let me out, they might think you let me in. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, wait a minute. We found the kid. He's heading eastbound down the alley. There's still no sign of the dog. Help me. Get We were in a sleigh. You were saying I was an elf. Might I suggest therapy? Now buckle up. Watch out! <sighs> Richie, what have you done? I just saved your butt, Cadbury. Don't be easy on the curves, lad. Hands at ten and two o'clock. Could you please? Watch out! <laughs> What did you do to create this scandal? Oh, that. Well, they seem to think that I kidnapped for dollar here. You okay, boy? Good boy. Okay, good boy. Stay. Dollar. Okay, stay. Good boy. Oh, let me guess. Dollar was your dog before you whisked yourself out of the time-space continuum, right? Yeah, that's right. I thought so. Now watch the following distance.
Apparently so. We can ditch the car here on this abandoned road. It'll buy us enough time so we can find the professor. Wait. Well, you're coming with me, aren't you, Cadbury? I mean, I only got until midnight. I suppose I don't have much choice as long as I'm officially your partner in crime. Thanks. I owe you one. This is all coming out of your Christmas bonus money, Mooney. I understand. And if you mess up again, there won't even be a Christmas bonus. I understand. In fact, if we don't find this kid tonight, there won't even be a Christmas. I... I don't understand. Oh, cancel it. That means no Christmas lights, no Christmas turkey, no Christmas trip to Grandma's house, no Christmas period. I need taffy. Reward for Richie Rich. Reward for Richie Rich. Turn in Richie Rich to the Richieville Police Department. Cancel Christmas? And if you think I can't cancel Christmas, you're wrong. I'm shutting down all the utilities, roadways, and public services at midnight unless this kid is caught. Now, if you have any information, call the Resident Hotline. The call costs $2.95 for the first minute and $1.95 for each additional minute. But hey, it'll be worth it if you can save the holiday for everyone. And the professor's name is. Jamie. Heaven help us. You know him? I hired him once to increase the output on the band's amplifiers. And? Ah, I still got a ringing in me ears. That's him. Pretty sore, got a back in. Keen Bean, you in there? Uh, no, nobody here by that name. Keen Bean, we just came here to talk to you about your molecular wish receptor. Who told you about that? Why don't you just let the lad in? He'll explain everything inside. What kind did you wish you would never born? I just wanted to be a regular kid. I thought that being Richie Rich had well, too many responsibilities, and I didn't know that if I was never born, it make so many changes and all the changes are bad. You just gotta figure out a way to wish me back. Well, this is all I have so far. I've been tinkering with this for oh. years now, but it only seems to power up every December 24th. Oh, well, that's because Christmas Eve is the only day where there's enough left of a wish energy to power the machine. Of course. Of course, yes. Yes, well, why didn't I think of that? You did. I did? Yes. Yes, I, I did. I did? Yeah. Uh, did I have any ideas for the fibrillator conductor? Oh, that was um, some big wishbone from, from a dinosaur. Pedliosaurus? That was it. The largest wishbone ever discovered. Oh, I'm a genius. I am a genius. Oh, dear. It's eight o'clock. We have so much to do, and the Pedliosaurus wishbone is locked away in the museum. I've... Do you know anyone who might be willing to help out? Well, I thought I did, but apparently all my friends just liked me because I had money. Now, where'd you get a stupid idea like that, Richie Rich? Where'd you guys find me? Well, I called Freckles after I saw her face on TV. So we came here to Professor Beancurds. You guys believe me about the wishing machine? You, you understand that your lives will be better if I go back? You, you understand the time-space continuum? Hmm, no. No. Yeah, but anybody who stands up to Reggie is all right with us. Well, enough, enough. We have a job to do, and time is of the essence. Oh, wait, what exactly are we doing? Oh, we're just breaking into the museum.
look okay up there, boy? You keep on here, okay, boy? Hey, let's just go. This way, guys, come on. That's Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. Oh, and that's Reggie. Somebody's ego is way out of control. Motion sensors. They're gonna set off alarms like crazy. Piggy, see if you can unpack the little black bag. We're gonna get under them. Push, push, guys, push. So, who's next? Ribcage. Sensors all around the base. We'll have to go in from above. Pee-wee, see if Professor Kingman packed a fishing rod with a little red button on it. Hook, line, and wishbone. I think we got company. Go, 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 go. about this dinosaur. No, no, all dinosaurs look the same. Come on, let's go. That's Mr. and Mrs. Van Dell. That's Reggie's real parents. I guess after Reggie sued them, this was the only job they could get. <coughs> oh, right. We should go. Yeah, come on. Grab the wishbone. Let's go. Come on, I, I, I just know that something is wrong here. I know it. And this is Reggie's museum. And if anything is damaged, we'll lose our jobs. Look around. Everything's just fine. See? Just fine. On your part, Cadbury. I got all the parts King Bay needs, and I met the most intriguing woman. Sorry, Cadbury, but there's only one woman in this world for you. Her name is Mrs. Peabody. She's got a real thing for you. Peabody? What a coincidence. Good evening, Charles. 
I must be body. <laughs> Everything back to normal, Reggie. We'll never be able to. Reggie will never be able to. What? Nobody move. <laughs> it's all over, Richie Rich. <laughs> get rid of me with the wishing machine. That's rich. <laughs> yeah, we'll wish again. Richie, rich. in two lifetimes. You're on a roll. Freddy's got your dog. He's got your parents. He's got the wishing machine. I didn't even get my parents a Christmas present. <laughs> Not that they remember they're my parents anyway, but... Well, perhaps we ought to all look on the bright side. Okay. But what is the bright side? I don't know. The bright side is, things can possibly get any worse. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's time to get down to business. I won't a Oh, <laughs> 
check that out. It's not me, Gloria. Richie? It's not me. Can be? It's Dollar! <laughs> cool! Yes. All right, Dollar! Oh, if only we could get to the yeah. wishing machine. Yeah. Oh, Dollar will get us out. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Get the keys, Dollar. Dollar, Dollar get the keys. Get the keys, boy. 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 Get
Arrest them yourself. Are you trying to get fired? I quit. I refuse to work for anyone that would cancel Christmas. Moody, you're about to put me in a really bad mood. I might just have to take matters into my own hands. You will do nothing of the kind. Well, you, you go to your room, Reggie. <laughs> Wish, 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 wish